most powerful things I could possibly do. That is a very powerful tool and it's something that I did and it comes down to auto suggestion. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And we, we discussed that a little bit in the past, but once you start to visualize uh, a task or uh, a change in life or yourself in the future and you imagine how you look, feel, the, the things you do, how you live, how you eat, how you move, how you train, you imagine that every day your subconscious will start to automatically drive you towards those things, doing those things consistently, right? That's, that's the whole, people used to think it was magic, right? Back when, yeah. uh, essentially when marketing began, um, when they started printing off newspapers and there were like door-to-door -door salesmen, uh, they figured out how to tap into people's minds and get them to visualize these things so they would, they would make a purchase, right? Um, right. <clears throat> but we can use that for ourselves and it is kind of a magic in a sense, right? It's, it's a powerful thing and I don't think people really do it. People are looking at this here now, how do I lose weight as fast as possible? But when we, when we zoom out, see that bigger picture and envision ourselves having accomplished what we want to accomplish, whatever it is in life, but in, in this case, you know, fat loss and health, um, yeah, you're going to start just unintentionally making those des better decisions. And you know, when I did that, when I was like 300 pounds, I didn't imagine myself being kind of where I'm at, I am now. I just imagined like, uh, cause I was still like this punk rock guy. I just imagined being kind of like just a slightly chubby punk rock guy. Right. And not, not like this big fat punk rock guy. And that was good for me. And it worked for a while. And then I kind of got to that point. I was like, Hey, I'm still, I'm, I fit into smaller clothes. You know, I look cooler or whatever. And that's, that was like the shallow part of it. And I didn't yeah. really stop and think, you know, how I, I felt about myself and, and, and the accomplishments and, and all those kind of feelings and all that and the habits and stuff. But then when I started taking it further, I did it again and again and again, and you just keep doing it. And then it just becomes this, this tremendously powerful practice that you can put into place for so many different things. Yeah, I mean, even with superficial stuff, it is, like, motivating. Like, I'm going to be honest, like, I look at you and your photos, I'm like, this guy looks like a fucking badass. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. I do think about, like, what I could look like, and I'm like, damn, I, I could be a fucking beast. <laughs> you, you, you could, like... That's something I already, I, I always told myself too, that inner athlete is in there. There's, there's that inner being, that, that inner man that wants to be strong and fit, right? And, and he kind of like screams at you a lot, right? Yeah. And it's when you have to, you have to start listening. Um, and sometimes, you know, he might scream at you multiple times before you start to listen, but uh, it's gonna happen someday and it's better sooner than later.